When you're bringing this cute little mugapine from the nursery, you almost never think of their future size. And you really should, because their real size can be monstrous. And this is not even the worst case. But what if I told you, you can keep it nice and small for many years? Just watch the next video for simple tips how to do it. Hello, my name is Tanya. I'm a professional gardener from Finland. And I've been dealing with mugger pine or mountain pine or creeping pine or whatever it is called in your area. So I've been dealing with mugger pine quite a lot because in Finland it is one of the most popular evergreen shrub. It is really hardy. It grows even beyond polar circle. It almost never been damaged by green sun. It can tolerate most types of the soil and it also drought tolerates which make which makes it an ideal plant for steep slopes. Muga pine is a good shrub for a low maintenance garden. But if you let it grow naturally at some point it will go out of control, losing its charm and turning into a real monster. So this is what I personally do and recommend doing every year for keeping it in the best possible shape. Depending on where you live, you will see a new growth on your pine around late May or maybe beginning of June or if you live in the north like me, middle of June to beginning of July, which happens in Lapland, for example. All we have to do is to prune a new growth, every little one, cutting half, half of it like that. In a few years, it will result in a rounder shape and longer needles and cause much slower growth. If you have lots of muga pines, you can use electric head shear, but still you would have to check if you missed something and prune it manually. This work isn't hard even if you do it manually. And you only have to do it once once a year. At some point your muga pine can become really dense and in that case, when, for example, you see a bunch of growth on one branch, just leave one or two new growths, cut in half of them, and remove the rest. And especially the middle one, which tends to be the strongest. But the key is consistency. If you stop pruning your muga pine, it will lose its shape really quickly. Oh, and don't forget to clean your garden tool immediately after you're done pruning your muga pine because of the reason on it. Hopefully these tips were helpful and please leave your feedback. And if you ever face the problem of conifers turning brown after winter, Watch the next video.